He is known for being a pioneering Canadian parasitologist who made significant contributions to the field of fish stock identification. He is recognized for his discoveries that played a crucial role in negotiations over Pacific salmon fisheries, allowing for the determination of each fish's spawning location. His name is Leo Margolis. In the world of scientific research, there are those whose work leaves an indelible mark on their field. One such individual was Leo Margolis, a Canadian parasitologist who made groundbreaking discoveries in the identification of Pacific Ocean fish stocks using parasites. His findings became a crucial aspect in the negotiations surrounding Pacific salmon fisheries, as it provided the ability to determine the origin of each individual fish, whether it spawned in the rivers of Canada or the United States. Leo Margolis was born in Montreal, Quebec, and his passion for scientific inquiry led him to pursue A.B.Sc., M.Sc., and Ph.D. from McGill University. In 1952, he joined the Pacific Biological Station in Nanaimo, British Columbia, where he served as a government scientist, advisor, and diplomatic representative. It was during his tenure at the station that Margolis made his groundbreaking discoveries and contributions to the field of fish health and parasitology. Tragically, Leo Margolis' life was cut short in 1997 when he suffered a heart attack while walking home from work. Despite being airlifted to a Vancouver hospital, he passed away several days later at the age of 69. His untimely death was a loss to the scientific community, but his contributions to the understanding of Pacific Ocean fish stocks and the negotiations surrounding salmon fisheries remain a testament to his brilliance and dedication. Leo Margolis' pioneering work in using parasites for fish identification not only revolutionized the field but also had practical implications for the management of fisheries. His discoveries provided crucial information that helped determine the allocation of resources and the preservation of Canadian and American river ecosystems. Leo Margolis' legacy lives on, reminding us of the profound impact that scientific research can have on our understanding of the natural world and the decisions we make to protect it. Leo Margolis, a renowned parasitologist, made significant contributions to the field through his research on fish parasites. While he published numerous papers on the subject, it was his work on the use of ecological terms in parasitology that truly made him famous in the parasitologist community. In 1982, Margolis published a groundbreaking paper that would have a lasting impact. In 1981, the American Society of Parasitologists recognized the need to establish clear definitions for terms commonly used in parasitological ecology. They formed an ad hoc committee for this purpose, with Margolis serving as the chairman. This committee aimed to address the misuse of ecological terms and provide accurate definitions. Margolis's paper, published in 1982, presented these working definitions and brought clarity to the field. One of the key terms defined was prevalence, a widely used concept in parasitology. The paper's impact was immense, and it has been cited thousands of times since its publication. Margolis's dedication to defining these terms stemmed from his commitment to advancing the field of parasitology. By providing clear definitions, he ensured that researchers could communicate effectively and accurately about their findings. His work not only benefited the scientific community but also helped in fostering a deeper understanding of fish parasites and their ecological interactions. Leo Margolis's paper on the use of ecological terms in parasitology remains a cornerstone in the field. His contribution has had a lasting impact, shaping the way researchers approach and communicate their findings. Margolis's passion for his work and his commitment to accuracy have left a legacy that continues to inspire and guide future generations of parasitologists. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.